The majority of tuition was from um, federal and state loans. Um, 21st century scholars, I believe, was included in that. Well, I was able to get financial aid for tuition and things like that, but when it came to personal living expenses, that's when things got really bad. I believe it was my fifth year of college at the very beginning of it. There was no more financial aid coming through, so I had to seek out personal loans. I, saw, I sought credit cards because I wanted to build my credit to make sure that if I did have any issues, I could get those personal loans as well. I didn't realize how difficult it would be to work a full-time job and try and do online courses at the same time. Now, the reason I was in a fifth year of college rather than just the standard four, which is what it, it should have taken me, um, is because I transferred from schools and the credits did not carry over to the second school. And my student loan debt is currently 21000 um, kind of on the upper side of that, so probably more um, close to 22000 Despite the four years of college that I went, uh, I did not get a degree um, because I did that transfer. Finding employment has been pretty difficult. Um, the particular area that I live in, there's, there's a lot of minimal wage sort of jobs, and I still wanted to do work in my field, which was graphic design. And instead, I ended up having to work at a packing company. I had to move back in with my mother. I've been trying to help her well, she's currently going to uh, college online. As of right now, she hasn't been able to find gainful employment just yet with that degree. It's not like it just comes. What I would have done differently going into college, I would have definitely not spent as much. Because when you do receive financial aid at first, you know, especially the first couple of years or so, you, it, it seems like free money to you, but you do have to pay it back and you're not thinking about that. There's going to be a lot of temptations 